Hello and welcome to the WebTrees Genealogist presentation of adding a census record using the open source software program called WebTrees. Uh, you could find my blog at thelucidcenter.com slash the WebTrees Genealogist or simply the lucidcenter.com and you'll find my blog up in the right hand corner and you can check that out. So this is what my WebTrees program looks like. Um, if you go to my page, you have the home page, um, different charts, calendar, different reports you could run, a search. Um, we'll talk about clippings in a moment, um, gallery that I've created, and of course the blog. So real quick, we're going to uh, talk about how to add a census. So I've already found a census to add to save us some time. Um, and these are my favorites. You could add uh, ancestors as your favorites to find them easier in the program. So we're going to be working with Talitha E. Hackler, um, born in Missouri. So, and these are notes I made earlier when I uploaded my program to WebTrees. Um, so I haven't messed with this um, data in a while. But we have census of 1880, and if I click on my source here, um, it actually takes me to this family search site um, that I had found, but I didn't have an image available. So, um, with that being said, I uh, used Steve Morse's viewing census images and clicked on the 1880 census, since uh, that's what we're talking about, 1880 in uh, Atchison County, Missouri. And I pulled up and searched through and found uh, my ancestor, Talitha Hackler, which is right here um, with her family, uh, as she married into a Harrington. So I've already saved this image, which is right here. Um, I got the whole thing, and I've already resized it because WebTrees is a online program. I don't want uh, people having to wait for load times to see an image, so I resized it so people can uh, bring up the image a lot quicker. So. Let's go back here and we're going to add this image um, and we're actually going to create a new one just so we could show you how it starts from scratch. So here's a bunch of uh, data facts that you could add and I'm actually going to put it under residence instead of census. And you could do it either way. There's no right or wrong way. So we have date. We're going to put in 1880. Place. If we look back here it was Dale Atchison, Missouri. So Dale Atchison, and we've already inputted that in this program before, so it pops it up for us, which is nice. Then I'm going to go down to add new source. Now, this isn't exactly adding a new source. I already have an 1880 source. If I wanted to add a new source, I would click this button right here. But since I already have the source, I'm going to put 1880. It should pop up, and I have two there, but I've been using the USA Census one. I've been meaning to get rid of the other one. And then for media objects, now I need to add my object that links to the source, so the census image that I've already saved and resized. So I'm going to go to here. It's going to ask for a source ID again, and we're going to click in that 1880 again since that's where. Now it's going to pop up with everything I have that says 1880 because you can link it to anything. But again, my source is S5, the 1880 census. I'm going to choose my document, which is going to be, I've already got it in my um, resized photos. So I'm going to search for Talitha for my ancestor. Oh, maybe that's not it. Let's try 1880. And we have. Shoot. Let's go back to. Resized photos for 1880. Here we go. Talitha Hackler and Harrington family. Must have been in the wrong folder. So if, as you can see, the image isn't the full census because I cropped it to make it easier and smaller um, so people could see it on the web. So I'm going to click that. It pops up right there. Um, this is automatically going to generate a thumbnail image, which is helpful because I don't need to make it myself or you could choose to upload your own thumbnail if you want. If you want to change the name of it, you can. I usually don't. Um, for the folder names on the server, 
So in my gallery, I have um, different folder names. So if you choose these galleries, it's going to choose um, specific images. It's not going to show you all the images. So I could actually choose those. Um, but since this is a census image, it's not really entertaining for an album. But you can if you choose. It is a JPEG. Um, and here's where I could choose type. And WebTrees organizes your documents into types. So you could choose photo, or painting, or newspaper, or microfilm. So I'm going to choose document for this one. I would choose certificate if it was a birth or death certificate, but since it's a census image, it's a document. Our highlighted image um, tells us if we want this image to be um, this profile picture right here. So since it's a census, I'm just going to click no for highlighted image. And we'll click save and we'll watch it upload down here. So now it's uploading. It was quick because I cropped it already. Now it's going to give us a reference to that media object, M703. And if I actually type in that, oops, it's going to pop up with the 1880 Harrington family in Talitha. Okay, so now we're going to add. And this is automatically going to refresh for us. And as long as you're the administrator, you could change it to where everything's added automatically and doesn't need approval. So we'll see our residents here for 1880, age 36. And then if we click on source, it pops up with the census image. And you can zoom in on that. And you'll see Dale in Atchison, Missouri. And there's the family right there. And that's how you add a census image um, to a web trees person. Now, one thing I want to note is that she has a lot of people in her family right here. So she's got her daughters and sons with her. So instead of doing that whole process over and over again, we could click this icon right here, and this is kind of the clippings cart. So I could clip this whole person if I wanted to, but I'm going to clip the or copy the residence that I just added, and it's going to say record copy to clipboard. Now I'm going to find her children that were listed in that census, which is Melissa, David, Rebecca, John, and Elisha. So we have here Melissa, and all I have to do is go down to add. This is from clipboard, residence 1880, and I click add. And then we have David, find David, and add that. And then Rebecca and John, so we get Rebecca here, add that, John, so you can see how easy this is to add census data to everyone in the family with a simple copy and paste type of feature. So again, he's got the census listed with that old link to family search that didn't include an image and I'm going to go down to here add the residence and then we find residence 1880 with the census image and I could always go to the 1880 census here and uh, delete that if I wanted to so that way it's a little bit cleaner so thank you for watching the web trees genealogist um, I am open to all comments suggestions with this program it's uh, there's many ways to do one thing, so uh, feel free to comment if you found an easier way or if you found a different way, um, and let me know. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.